guys, I'm Abby Garden, the Vice President of the Nebraska Association of Student Councils, and I'm here to talk to you on behalf of Project Unify. Project Unify is an education-based program in the Special Olympics that uses sports and education programs to educate teens to become agents of change, fostering respect, dignity, and advocacy for those with special needs and intellectual disabilities. Within Project Unify, there is the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign where over 410,000 online pledges have been collected to stop the use of the word retard in everyday speech. Not only is the term offensive, but it's also derogatory with those with special needs and intellectual disabilities. Here are some stories from Special Olympians and others about how the R word has affected them. When you say the R word, it makes people feel bad and it hurts my feelings. And I don't want to hear you guys say it. Instead, you can call me a leader, a hero, or a human being. But please don't call me the R word. Donny Knight, Special Olympics, Oregon athlete. It hurts and scares me when I am the only person with intellectual disabilities on the bus and young people start making retard jokes or references. Please put yourself on that bus and fill the bus with people who are different from you. Imagine that they start making jokes using a term that describes you. It hurts and it is scary. Joseph Franklin Stevens, Special Olympics Virginia athlete and global messenger. Words matter. People do not need to scoff at others to make a point. Everyone has a gift, and the world would be better off if they recognized it. Tim Schreiber, CEO of the Special Olympics. When they were first introduced, the terms mentally retarded or mental retardation were clinical terms with specific medical meaning. However, they've been used widely in today's society to insult and degrade people with intellectual needs and physical disabilities. And when they are used in place of dumb and stupid, it only reinforces painful stereotypes of people with special needs and intellectual disabilities being considered less valuable than they may be. When you think about it, you're calling someone or something a medical condition. Oh my gosh, she is such a blue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this pencil is such a cold. Fun fact, in 2010, President Obama signed a bill, Rosa's Law, that had the word retard stricken from every government record and law. If you hear the R word and want to do something about it, the number one rule is to stay calm and reasonable. Simply explain to them that the term is offensive to you and to others, and I'm sure they'll understand. Everyone is special, no matter what. We all deserve to be treated with respect and love. Join me today in pledging not to use the R word. Here are some stories from people across the country that have pledged. I have no disability but was treated as such, so I know of the scars people feel. Now, as a parent of child in need, I have gone from defending the rights of all coaching, basketball, and Special Olympics. We have all something to offer in this world, that's why I pledge. Dennis, disabled American vet, father of an athlete, and now coach to a great group of friends. When my brother was 18 months old, he was diagnosed with autism. Ever since then, I vowed always to stand up for him, no matter what the circumstances. However, one experience when I was nine changed my life and outlook upon both autism and the R word. For my first time in my life, somebody said the R word directly referring to him and his disability. And not only did it tear a hole in my heart, but it made me want to do something about it. I was, it was that moment that I told myself that I would never use a word, nor would I ever let someone prosecute, persecute my brother like, like that person had. I had heard that word every day, from the hallway in school to pedestrians in a conversation. But one thing is for sure, I will never use that word in any conversation. And because of James, I've learned so much about myself and can truly say that no matter what, I will never judge him or anyone else because of their disability. I am proud to say I have never used the R word and never will. My name is Christopher Mannion. I am a high school student, a strong activist for social tolerance, and an active participant in the autism community, as well as the Special Olympics. I love comedy. Everyone needs laughter in their life. I was sitting at home relaxing and really enjoying a comedian on TV when she started to use the R word. Not only did she use it, but when there was an, a negative reaction from some audience members, she defended her use of it, saying, I like the R word. It's funny, and I'll use it all I want. I was in tears. I thought of my sweet, innocent six-year-old daughter sleeping in her bedroom. I thought of how all she wanted is to be accepted, of all the things she under she has to fight for, it, so hard to understand, and how I feel when I hold her as she cries when she can't understand. It's not okay to make fun of anyone, nor is the R word or any more acceptable than the N word. Special needs children have been locked up, tortured, and killed in history. It is no less offensive than any other slur uttered from the mouths of the ignorant. Please, stop accepting this word being bantered about on stages and in movies. 
Joanne Law, registered nurse and proud mother of a beautiful young lady with autism. Go online now to www.rword.org and take the online pledge. If not, go and read their inspirational stories from others who have pledged. The goal is to collect 420,000 online pledges. That's 10,000 online pledges. So get your friends, family, businesses, and anyone else you can think of involved. Because we're all human, and we all deserve to be treated as such. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hudson Snyder, and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm Claire Sickler, and I pledge to not use the R word. I'm Lexi Keck, and I pledge not to use the R word. Hi, I'm Tyler Gillen, and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm Keely Kasimba, and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm David Erickson, and I pledge not to use the R word.